afternoon everybody welcome if you are new to my channel i'm alice this is narrowboat noob uh, i live on a narrowboat i live in a marina uh, i've been on the boat well i've had the boat for almost a year so next month it'll be a year i've been living on board since april and i've been promising you guys this video forever um so it came about um from a question that came from one of my viewers, Pickle Bee Treats, who asked about what cooking on a narrowboat was like, and I promised that I would do a whole video on that. Um, so here this is. Uh, I'm gonna do a video about um, what my kitchen's like, so I'll give you a bit of a tour of the kitchen. Um, I'll sort of say what sort of things I keep, um, you know, like blenders and stuff, what kind of appliances I might keep on board. Um, spoiler alert, not very many. <laughs> many boaters will have more, uh, but I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and then we're going to make lasagna together. I say to I say us, me and you guys are going to make lasagna together. Um, so yeah, I'll try not to make this video too long and boring, so I won't sort of show you the whole process because you'll just be sitting there for 40 minutes watching me cook, which will be seriously boring. So I'll just like do, you know, steps as we go forward. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to turn the light on, which is a bit annoying. I've been really busy this morning, um, well, and the whole day. I think it must be half three by now. Um, doing like boaty admin so I'm filling up the water tank as we speak so I'm gonna have to wait till that's done before I start cooking because otherwise I'll just be listening out to that and I'll just lose my train of thought so yeah I've been doing that I've emptied the toilet filled up the coal fill, um, like filled up my water bottles um, and I went into town as well to do some shopping so this is a little later in the day than I'd planned so I'm gonna have to stick the light on um, but never mind it'll be okay it's just hopefully I won't get sort of blaring lights in your face as we're videoing uh, first problem is figuring out where to put the camera in the kitchen um, so we'll worry about that in a minute but anyway let's do a bit of a tour of the kitchen so welcome to my kitchen I have wine ready to go um, I've not got many cupboards so appliances that I've kept I've kept my toaster although I don't really need it because I do have a gas grill that if I'm out on the cut I will use instead um, I have a gas oven which is really rubbish I now need like a, um, a taper you know lit from lit from here or a lighter to light the oven it doesn't light on its own anymore so we just ignore that um, I have a really interesting hob so I have three gas rings and uh, one electric so that's quite handy if I run out of gas, um, but it is 240 volts, so I can't use it when I'm out and about. Um, but I've just filled up the gas yesterday, so that's fine. I've got a 12 volt fridge with a tiny kind of like half, you know, a, a little freezer um, compartment in the top. And then I don't have many cupboards at all. So I've got one under the sink, which is, you know, for all like... Um, well, cleaning stuff, random bits, cloths and compost and stuff like that. I've got a couple of shelves, which uh, I've got pans and food on the top and then DIY stuff on the bottom. And then all I've got really is a cutlery drawer, which you'd be amazed at how little space you need um, for cutlery. And then in here, uh, we've got plates, bowls and stuff, and then like tea, coffee, glasses. Uh, I'm trying to run down this supply because I don't need like eight plates, really. And there's some bowls that I just never use, so really I don't need all this. And then I have one food cupboard, and then in here is pretty much all my extra bits. So I did get rid of loads out of here, so like boxes, and I did have big glass bowls, but I got rid of those. And then down here is all like um, spare bits of stuff like mugs and things like that. Uh, I have one appliance I got rid of one um I got rid of the Breville smoothie maker which I used to use a lot when I was in a house but I haven't used it for the past year so now I have this blender which was second hand to me a friend um gave it to me for a tenner so a Hinari Genie and it does do things like juices but she lost the bit for that but I've got rid of a lot of the bits so I just use uh, like a blending attachment which is like one of those and I also have a flat blade as well somewhere in there and uh, like a jug and I use um, you know you can do soups in it uh, and stuff like that and I grind coffee in this as well and uh, like spices and stuff so that I still use so that and the toaster are pretty much it in terms of modern appliances uh, but today we're not going to need any of that we're just going to need a knife a chopping board two pans 
the wine for drinking and we need just this lasagna tray and I'm used to making lasagna about twice the size of that for like a group of four so this will be interesting uh, the mixture I make will probably use a, like you know make a lot more and I'll just be left with it in the pan but that's fine you know leftovers but that's pretty much the tour of a very very small kitchen um, but it suits me and I, I get rid of more and more stuff uh, as time goes on and get more and more space The end of that. Cheers, everybody! First things first is gather your veg. So, and I've just dropped the pepper, so that's a really good start. So, there's two courgettes, onion of your choice, pepper that you hopefully haven't dropped on the floor, and that's it really for veg. But I'm going to put in some uh, broccoli stalk because I've got quite old broccoli, so I'm going to just use the stalks in this, and you just chop that up. So here's a question for you liverboard voters. Do you collect food compost, food waste? Um, I have a compost bin and I actually take it all to my mum's. Uh, she has a garden and her own uh, composting bin. But I've never seen a food waste collection area in a marina or um, at the voters services. It's always only general rubbish and glass generally. Um, the glass is obvious because voters are a bunch of drunks. That's another question. Any teetotal voters out there? It seems to be a occupational hazard that any voter, well every voter, <laughs> seems to drink. Uh, but I'd be interested in um, knowing if there is any teetotal voters out there. But yeah, answers on the bin question. Any ideas? I've had to put the light on because I'm going to chop my fingers off because it's so dark. Um, but I'll try not to get too much lights in your face. <laughs> okay, that's all chopped. Here you go. Oh, look how beautiful it is. So it's time for a, uh, another sip of wine. I was going to say another glass. <laughs> I haven't got any more wine, so you know that I haven't drunk a whole glass yet. Um, but I, I do have an apron. Um, which I was going to put on. I usually forget when I'm cooking because um, I'm usually a you know a do it as quickly as possible kind of person. But I do have an apron. It's got foxes on it. If you're a regular viewer, you'll have seen it before. Um, sorry, I'm still listening out for the water tank. I decided to start cooking because the water tank was taking ages and it still it still isn't full. Um, which is why I'm not wearing the apron because any second I'm going to have to rush out the door to turn the tap off. Um, and I don't really want to be wearing my nice clean indoor cooking apron for that. So. As soon as that stops, I will put it on for you. And then I'll look totally official. Um, but right, anyway, um, so onions first. I'm gonna put the broccoli stalk in with it as well because that can be a bit tough. And um, basically in a pan, bit of water, heat it up, put the lid on, don't let it burn. So this is my biggest pan. It doesn't look that big on the camera, but if I bring it closer, it'll look really big. <laughs> that's it for now. Uh, just let that heat up, let it cook, and then add the pepper and the courgettes. Onions cook and then just throw the peppers and courgettes in for like five minutes and then I'll put in two tins of tomatoes and two teaspoons of oregano. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, you can rinse out your tomato tins as well into, the, into here but don't overdo the water. Don't worry about being too direct, um, too accurate even, with the oregano, just throw it in. Looking good. Okay, so just uh, bring that up to a simmer and cook it till it's cooked. Simmer it till it's cooked. <laughs> so there's one main advantage with a narrow kitchen in that it's tiny and you can reach everything from a single point. <laughs> 
So I can stand by the cooker and reach everything around me. Um, I don't have to walk up and down. I mean, obviously, walking up and down is great if you want the exercise, but you're more likely to knock into somebody or drop something, or I am anyway. Um, not walk into somebody because I live alone, but you know what I mean. Um, and I love that. I love that I can just kind of make a cup of tea or something and just turn around into one cupboard, turn around to the fridge or whatever, um, which is just really convenient. I really like that. Um, and I love the layout of my kitchen. I'm really chuffed with it. I'm not going to go overboard because I don't like it mush. So I'm going to throw beans in now. So I've got a tin of, it should be pinto beans, but I've got, I haven't got pinto beans, so I've got harrogate beans. Because you'd be hard pressed to get pinto beans in a tin round here anyway, because it's the middle of nowhere. So that goes in. And then you just stir this in and cook it for another like 10 minutes or so. And then that sauce is done. So I'm going to move on to the white sauce now. Uh, and the water tank is finally finished. So I've just gone and sorted that out. Um, and now I will put my apron on. So I've now got my apron on. Anyway, I'm going to make the white sauce now. So the white sauce is obviously more complicated than this. Um, I don't know, some of you may be white sauce connoisseurs. I'm not that great at it, to be honest, but it basically takes a fat, so butter or oil or margarine. Um, it takes flour, flour of your choice, plain is usually used. I'm going to just use uh, rice flour because that's what I got. Um, and then a milk of some kind, uh, your choice. I've got oat milk today. Uh, so yeah, so you heat up the, the fat, then you add the flour and then you add the milk and you whisk like your life depends on it. So let's get cracking. I'm gonna have, there's not much oil in here, so I'm gonna have it all. And when your oil's hot, just add, um, I don't know, two, two heat spoons big spoons like i'm using soup spoons but i haven't seen these available for a long time just you know a complete aside um so a dessert spoon two heaped dessert spoons of flour i mean not like super heaped but you know like that you can always add more if you're not sure and then whisk it up and it should turn into kind of like clumpy breadcrumby mess you can you can measure these if you're not sure i think it's two ounces two ounces and a pint i'm not sure i'll um i'll look at a recipe and let you know i do have a recipe for this by the way i'm not completely making it up but a white sauce i can generally just wing it um same with the lasagna i use the veg in the recipe but you can put in whatever don't forget your other pan, by the way, when you're doing this. Keep stirring it. Um, I need to invest in a head cam. I mean, I keep crouching down like this to speak to you. I feel awfully rude standing like here like this with my face off camera. Um, but I can do it with a head cam so you can see uh, what I'm doing. So let's just swap this camera around. Here you go. So it's a bread crummy consistency. And then we're gonna throw some milk in. And don't go overboard the first time. I'm just going to swap hands. That's my left hand. That's not a recipe for disaster, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, keep whisking this. Um, and if yours is lumpy, not to matter. It will basically go thick at some point. Um, if it's lumpy, you can either whiz it or, you know, if you're me, you're not going to bother. Especially because this is going in a lasagna. You're never going to notice floury lumps. It'll be cooked by the time you serve it, trust me. If this was going over, I don't know, cauliflower or something, then I might, I might whiz it. But it'll be fine once it gets going. You want a reasonably sized pan for this, because if you're going to use a really small pan whisking around, you're just going to splash the milk everywhere. So this is really, you know, the minimum size pan for something like this, really. You will also, at this point, probably before you start the sauce, is put the oven on. Uh, I haven't done that, so I will do that right now. Put the pan that you're going to use, the tray, the lasagna tray, in the oven. Um, so that that heats up with the oven. So don't take your eye off this at all, or this happens, it just goes super clumpy. So add some more milk, turn the heat down and keep whisking. 
Okay, so I'm going to call that a uh, finished. So it's kind of creamy. I might add some more milk because it is a bit viscous, but that's pretty much done. Uh, that's simmering away, so that's done. So we're just waiting for the oven now. Now, at this point, you could put some cheese or similar product in your um, white sauce. I can't decide whether I'm good or not. I might actually put some spices in instead. So if you don't want to use cheese uh, for whatever reason, you can use some really cool spices to make it taste more cheesy okay so mustard powder Ta -da. um i don't really know how much throw it in see what happens we've got cayenne don't overdo this if you don't like spice half a teaspoon max probably and then I'm also going to throw some black pepper and chilli flakes in just to give it an extra kick. So black pepper for the win. Chilli flakes and I forgot to get out the nutmeg so bear with me a second. Nutmeg, ground nutmeg that is. So I kind of just put in between a quarter and half a teaspoon of all of that and then just stir it in. And it starts to look a much more satisfying colour instead of a white sauce. It's more of a, um, I don't know, like goldeny red sauce. What do you think? I'm going to have to put some more milk in it though because it's kind of gone solid. I have turned it off the heat and I will turn my main uh, veggie um, tomato -y dish off the heat now as well. Oh, and Angelita yeast flakes. Um, just, you know, throw in a tablespoon of that. Forgot about that, sorry. Now I am almost finished my glass of wine. Um, so while the oven is getting up to temperature, um, I'm going to have a look in my alcohol cupboard. So I have a little bottle of, a bottle of gin, which I uh, won in Pass the Parcel last night at the pub, which was really funny. Um, I've got Dead Man's Fingers Spice. And I've got what I've always got, <laughs> Kraken. And I've also got, oh, this is amazing. If you like coffee liqueur, you'll like this one. Uh, Afternoon, it's the Shropshire, Shropshire Distillery. It's, yeah, cold brew coffee liqueur. It's really, really nice. They also do uh, like a citrus tea one, I think. Uh, but I've never had that. I don't know what it's like. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure which to go for. I might go for a Kraken. Um, and then I I don't need to worry about choice if I just go for that. So I've got some really lovely little shot glasses. So that's what I'll do. We are almost there. Stay with me, people. Okay, I've turned all the heat off apart from the oven. So now I'm going to get the pan out of the oven and basically lay it on red, white, lasagna, red, white, lasagna, red, white, lasagna, and then white on top. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I've had to add more milk to the white sauce because it's gone really thick. Uh, but that's fine. The more the merrier. Um, so yeah, I've got pasta wise. I've got this, um, sorry, Biona spelt pasta, um, semi whole grain. Um, but obviously, you know, just get whatever you can. But it can be white, white pasta. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be whole grain. Um, the whole grain stuff will take a little longer to cook. Uh, but in the scheme of things, it's nothing really. I've never cooked lasagna in this oven, um, so this will be interesting to see how long it takes. Normally it would be about 40 minutes in the oven, uh, but yeah, we shall see. So let's layer up. Watch me get this everywhere. Okay, I think I put too much in there, but whatever. Okay, white. doesn't have to be like a whole layer because yeah if it's thick it's not going to be a whole layer so don't worry too much Let's see how this goes uh, it's not going to be a full i just nearly burnt myself that's a really good start isn't it all right back to the red and so on and so forth i will show you when it's done there we go. I did make a mistake. I thought I was going to get three layers of pasta, so that's why I put the tomato on top. But I couldn't. When I put the tomato on, I was like, no way am I going to fit another layer of pasta. So 
you should just finish off with pasta and then the white sauce but whatever it's fine now i am going to put a bit of cheese well it's not really cheese but it's a, it's a dairy free cheese on top so i'm going to grate that now put that on top and then throw it in the oven Ta -da! okay folks that's pretty much the dinner done so tidy up uh drink your beverage of choice cheers um unless you tidy up as you go everything's pretty tidy i've just got the dishes and to be honest i did the dishes this morning so it's highly unlikely i'm going to do another set of dishes now uh but yeah give the oven about 45 minutes to an hour i'm gonna i'll check mine after 45 but to be honest this oven does tend to take an extra 10 minutes to anything you want to cook so we'll see what it looks like then um but yeah i hope that's been nice i'll show you um i'll show you it when it's done i'll just add a photo or something but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i hope it hasn't been too long and boring uh, i really appreciate you uh, dialing in and uh, cooking with me yeah let me know what you think if you like this video uh, if you don't and you just want me to get back to the diy rubbish and getting wet and cold and miserable then please let me know so yeah thank you very much for watching have a fabulous evening and yeah we'll see you very soon take care guys bye